Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about the brand new Sapphire HD 4870 Toxic Edition. Specifically this one here is a terrific card for building a performance gaming PC. Now I got here the retail box to look at and the first thing you're going to notice is the OC on the top right corner. OC for overclocked. This comes pre-overclocked. It's a one gig version. There's already a 512 megabyte version, but this is the brand new one gig version and that's the one we're going to review today. Uh, this is what I have here and this is the retail box. Okay, So if we look at the um, model number that I've got, just for your reference here, it's the Toxic HD 4870 1G and you can see it's a DDR5 and it's using actually two, two slots wide, okay? So it has a standard support and connectors, but this one is a biggie. So the first thing you notice when you look at this card is the, the width and the length of it, right? So it is a large card. It does have non-reference cooling, which we're gonna talk about in a second. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is the dual slot. You do need to occupy two spaces. It's got a nice 90 millimeter two ball bearing fan, very quiet with three copper heat foot. Uh, pipes coming out of there at the top and, and the fan is blowing air out of the case and in and into the case okay so it's blowing both ways the air but it's got a lot of cooling for this GPU the RV 770 XT which is actually running at 780 megahertz so that's 30 megahertz more than the regular HD 4870 also the memory is overclocked by a hundred megahertz more so you've got it running at a thousand okay and uh, it's got the standard uh, plugs at the front and two power connectors, the PCI Express 6 pin at the back. So you do need to have enough power and the appropriate plugs to get this baby to, to run. Now if we slice it in half, I opened it up here so you can take a look at the uh, cooler itself, the non-reference cooler, right? First thing you're going to notice, those fins here at the side, right? End to end, we've got cooling. Everything on that card is taken care of starting with the aluminum fins there the aluminum heat sink right and you've got of course the copper with the pipes the copper pipes solid coming out of there and that's of course surrounded by the vapor chamber technology so we got a whole layer of this vapor chamber which is taking the heat source and taking the fluid of water that is inside of this case this vacuum um, and and through these wicks it's actually moving the hot liquid it's 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 taking that vapor that water vapor it's it's condensing and and then it's coming back cold kind of like with the uh the copper heat pipes that have uh, uh water in them right so th these wicks do the same thing right so it's a it's a capillary action really and and you could see that whole section here that is where we've got this vacuum with all those wicks in there and then on top of that you've got the heat sink so talk about cooling here, right? You've got three layers of cooling going on in this card, so there's no need for a water cooler. This is like self-contained to bring this down to the lowest you can go and actually overclock it even further than what it comes. So you don't have to settle for what um, this card has been overclocked at right out of the box. You can overclock it even more, resting assured that you have enough cooling going on here for this card so that's that's the best part of this right and it's also a nice looking card it's got a nice glossy plastic cover finish here and you've got the nice um, uh, pipe sticking out so the looks are, are terrific right when you look at this card just make sure you have enough space to put it in your your ATX motherboard right now the card itself I'll just show you the other half of the card so you can get a good idea it's a standard um, uh, layout right of the card itself nothing has really been changed on it um, like I said, everything is actually cooled off. So all of the memory here that you see, those are the memory um, modules. Those are cooled off and covered by the heat sink that I showed you earlier. Now when you look at the specs, just for your reference, right? Uh, you can see here the 4850 and the NVIDIA GTX 280, right? So you can take a look here at the, uh, at the differences, right? Between the, the, the die size, the uh, transistor count, that's really one one difference there. You can also take a look at um, the memory frequency, right, between the uh, NVIDIA and this Toxic Edition. Uh, the memory, of course, running is GDR5, so it's much faster. Now, take a look at what comes in the box, though, right? Obviously, you get the manual, but you also get the two cables, the power cables, in case you have an older power supply, you can install 
um, and use these uh, adapter cables from 6-pin to uh, Molex, right? So you're covered there. So don't worry about that. You can still use this brand new baby on your older power supply as long as you've got about 450, 450 or 550 minimum uh, for one card. You've got an S-Video out. You've got your component out connectors as well so you can watch HD on your on your uh, HD TV for example or if you have um, a different type of uh, a HDMI compliant uh, device you can use the DVI to HDMI and um, and watch your Blu-rays in HD and 1080i as well so uh, so that's not a problem if you have an older monitor here you go here's the uh, good old-fashioned DVI to VGA plug so you can watch that as well so this is a, a complete package also you get the crossfire bridge connector so if you wanted to get two of these babies and have them back to back in crossfire configuration or if you have a, a, a 790 FX motherboard you can have four have a quad GPU configuration that would be terrific um, it's very simple to install after you put them in the motherboard you just connect them all together right and there's the um, support for four of these but of course uh, here I only have uh, one bridge connector for two cards so um, on the uh, CD side, of course, you get the installation uh, CD with the drivers, and you've got the Ruby ROM uh, AMD CD with a couple of demos and things to try out with the card, and you have a DVD suite. So if you're into creating uh, movies and DVDs, there you go. You can get creative with that, and playing them back, of course, with Power DVD because uh, this is a nice little program to have. And last but not least, you get the 3D Mark. Vantage, the advanced full-blown benchmarking suite. So that's a neat, neat little item to have thrown in there in that full retail package. Beautiful, nice, sweet little thing to have to try out and overclock as far as you can take it. And um, this is definitely something that I recommend. So um, if you're a hardcore gamer and you're looking to, to get the latest and greatest, this is it right now competing with the NVIDIA side-by-side uh, I definitely give this a try if if you can afford it. I'll uh, post the links and information. And I thank Sapphire for providing the card. And if you uh, want to check it out, visit sapphiretech.com. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.